Irregular adverbs. Define the rules of English grammar. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on English grammar fundamentals. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Irregular adverbs. While most adverbs follow a predictable pattern, these unique words choose to dance to their own tune. Ready to unravel their mystery? Let's get started. Before we get into irregular adverbs, it's crucial to understand regular adverbs first. Regular adverbs are typically formed by adding li to an adjective. For example, the adjective quick becomes the adverb quickly and happy becomes happily. These adverbs describe how, when, or where an action happens. Now, let's meet the rebels of the adverb world, irregular adverbs. These adverbs don't follow the usual li pattern. In fact, some of them look exactly like their adjective counterparts. Confusing, right? But don't worry, we'll learn how to spot and use them effectively. Some common examples are well, fast, hard, late, and early. Notice anything? That's right, they're identical to their adjectives. It's all about context when it comes to irregular adverbs. While hard as an adjective can describe a surface or a task, like a hard rock or a hard test, as an adverb, it describes how an action is performed. For example, she works hard or he runs fast. Note that we're describing the verb or the action in these sentences, not a noun, which would be the role of an adjective. Practice makes perfect, especially with irregular adverbs. Let's try a few together. 1. He arrived late, lately. Which one would you use if he didn't make it on time? That's right, late. We'd only use lately to describe something happening recently, like in the sentence, lately, he's been arriving late. 2. She slept hard, hardly. Here, hard means she slept deeply, while hardly means she almost didn't sleep at all. Remember, it's about how the action is performed, and it might take some time to get used to these exceptions to the rule. That wraps up our introduction to irregular adverbs. They might seem a bit tricky at first, but with practice, you'll be using them like a pro. Keep pushing hard and learning well. It's part of the fun of mastering English. We hope you found this helpful, and as always, happy learning.